every feta in the world uh, has its own characteristics, no doubt about it. This one right here is uh, really good. And I don't know, you know, as we look at these, this one's lemon pepper. I didn't try it. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is one that's somewhat unique to us. We, uh, we've worked with this one for a while and it's a, a very nice flavor. It has a, a ton of areas in which to use because people aren't just looking for the, the typical salad per se. They're looking to see what makes it different. And uh, this one has, with being the, the lemon pepper, it has all of the summer characteristics you could possibly ever look for. It comes through on the cheese, as when you're tasting this cheese, you get a very nice, you know, very nice mouthfeel, but you also get a flavor that starts in the front and ends in the back. And to me, that's kind of everything in the world. Yeah. Um, what we're trying to do in the in the feta arena uh, on flavor specifically is play off of the Mediterranean heritage of the cheese itself. I mean, it's born in Greece, and we know that, and we respect that. But we want to make a cheese that's uh, of that flavor profile. And then if we're going to flavor it, and cheesemakers truly don't have to flavor uh, feta cheese because most of it doesn't sell all that well. Um, the predominantly uh, big seller is, is plain or traditional. Um, but here we've, you know, cucumbers and lemons, uh, also very Mediterranean driven. I mean, citrus in general is bigger on the Mediterranean. Cucumbers are um, found in any Greek salad I've ever had. Um, so we've, we've taken that and, and created this. Um, it does bring about, if you want to use it in a traditional way, which would be a salad, it really brings a brightness to a salad that you don't get without that cucumber lemon flavoring. Um, and we actually did a lemon pepper before we did the cucumber lemon. And, and uh, that one, while it looks a little unusual because of the coloration oh, yeah. of the flavoring, um, it really is uh, also very bright and refreshing. But one of the things what we really are trying to push and explore and get people to think about when they use feta cheese is, you know, so often people will use cheese as a seasoning and that's okay. In this case, feta is a salty cheese. So put away the salt shaker, add some feta cheese, um, and, and make it really season your baked potato, make it really season your asparagus, make it really season that wrap sandwich. Um, or if you're not into a wrap sandwich, do a, do a turkey breast sandwich and, and uh, perhaps on a brioche bun with, with a little of this uh, to go along with it, just to add a little dimension of flavor to that sandwich. Michael, I'm sure a lot of the people that follow have... Uh have just seen the the eight ounces of cheese that was heated yeah, of big, the feta, big feta. Baked, baked feta with, if, with the tomatoes and a little bit of olive oil and then they put their own pasta into it it makes a phenomenal dish now that was a plain feta and they put some olive oil on it and put a little bit of flavor if you took this and did the same thing it'd be out of sight right it would be uh, it's just you know that was created and it's simple and the idea here is that most of the, the cheese items that we talk about a lot of the times are the simpler, the better. And uh, like we said before, whether it was something that was going to be consumed at night, this one here is, uh, in all honesty, to me is, a, is probably not a morning one, but it has more to do with um, lunch and dinner and, uh, and appetizers. And appetizers. Uh, yeah, those, those would be the categories there. So the other one we could put in the morning or all day, this one right here is noon to nine o'clock, 10 o'clock at night, so. Pretty much. How'd you do? What'd you pair this with beverage-wise? Well, beverage-wise, you know, I, I think